Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to show how to easily test the cycling thermostat on a gas dryer in seconds. So stay tuned. Before performing this test, be sure to first unplug the dryer so that you don't get shocked. Next, you'll need to remove the front cover by removing the two screws located at the bottom of the front cover, here and here. Next, tilt the front cover upward, which will allow the top clips to release. Carefully set the cover to the side. Be advised that there will still be wires attached to the front cover, like you see here. To perform this test, you'll need a digital multimeter. If you do not have a digital multimeter, you can purchase one at any hardware store, auto parts store, big box store, Amazon, or eBay. I would strongly recommend that you purchase one that makes a beep sound when it's used on the continuity setting and makes continuity. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present. If you're not familiar with a digital multimeter, the continuity setting will usually have an arrow, a plus, and a volume symbol, like you see here. Having a set of alligator clips can also make for easier testing with a digital multimeter. Next, remove and test the cycling thermostat, which prevents the air temperature from getting too hot by cycling the flame on and off and is located here on the flame cone. Here's a closer look at the cycling thermostat. The one side will have a metal disc which monitors the air temperature from the flame. On the other side, it says L220-40 degrees Fahrenheit. This means the cycling thermostat should turn off once it reaches 220 degrees Fahrenheit and then turn back on once it drops by 40 degrees. Yours may show different temperatures. Place the two probes on the two electrical connections and set it to the lowest ohm setting. At room temperature, it should show some ohms and continuity. Once the cycling thermostat turns off, it should show no ohms and have no continuity. To test it, you'll need an electric griddle or something that you can adjust the temperature with. I'll be using my wife's hair straightener. I'll set the temperature above the shutoff temperature, so I'll set it to 300 degrees Fahrenheit because that's as low as this hair straightener will go. Next, hold the metal disc down on the heated surface. Be careful not to burn yourself. It should eventually show no ohms and no continuity, otherwise it's bad and needs to be replaced. After being on the hair straightener approximately 55 seconds, it turned off. It now shows no ohms and no continuity. So this cycling thermostat is good. Whenever you replace parts on appliances, always try to use genuine original equipment manufacturer parts which will usually be of higher quality and last longer. I hope you found this helpful and if you like this video please hit the like button below, share it with your friends and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. Okay, Sparky. Wait. <laughs>